Hey everybody, Rudy here. I wanted to do kind of a part two advanced tactics for targeting and chat features in console port World of Warcraft running on the ROG ally. Okay, I'll start with the chat. Now the chat is very kind of clunky. This is something that's just not gonna be fun or easy, etc. etc. Here we'll do let's find a name that I like. Mm. Dancer, mm, yeah, Dancer Quinn. Okay, so Dancer Quinn says something. Oh, jeez, I didn't know it was to keep going. Dancer Quinn says something to me, and I want to reply, right? So how do I do that? How do I do that, like, directly from my handheld? Oh, quite simply, what we're going to do is I'm just going to tap on the box. Right? So I'm going to find someone's name and I'm just going to just tap Monk Blue. So see how I was able to bring up Monk Blue here? Let me just see, show you guys that. So now Monk Blue, I have the chat window open with Mount Monk, Monk Blue. So how do I type, right? I just have my ROG ally. I don't have a keyboard or anything. How do I communicate, right? So, what I find is the most easy way to do this, and it's still going to be clunky, right? So, enter your button right here on the left, right below the window button. This is like the features, you know, all the performance features and additional add-ons. I guess you would call it the command center, right? So, hit your command center button and hit the keyboard. Here, let me actually show you this. So, you hit that button it brings up the command center. So right here, it's bringing up the command center. So you want to hit the keyboard button right here. Boom. So it's going to bring up this keyboard. Now what I like to do is I like to kind of I like to kind of um just move it over a little bit here. And see now you can type the monkey, you can say hi. How are you? Okay. So I typed to Monk Blue. I said, hi, how are you? Enter. So I sent him a message. So that's pretty much if you do not have... Um can even go a little bit smaller if you got tiny fingers you can even bring this a little bit smaller but uh, I can't really do that so I like to use the traditional it's pretty good so that's pretty much the basic way to communicate when all you have is your rug ally with you you know so just pull up the keyboard you have to tap the name uh, you can also bring up the mouse I'm not sure how to do oh you have to switch it over to desktop mode but I wouldn't do that it seems like it seems like desktop mode is really laggy and wow something happened and there's a lot of issues secondly targeting now targeting okay there's so many different ways that you can go about targeting now I'm going to show you my preference because it's not really a serious way. It's just a way. So I'm going to actually open up the menu here in WoW. So open up in your console port. Go to system right here. After you're in system, go to combat. Now this is the easiest way. I use this because I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to do a lot of work and I don't care what target I'm on because I'm just doing Raid Finder. I'm not doing Mythic Plus. I'm not doing ho uh, Heroic or anything else like that. So see right here, Enable Action Targeting. So basically what this, what this action targeting does is whatever way the camera is looking, that is the mob it's going to target. And I'm going to show you how this works right now. So as I walk in this room, you're going to see it. You're going to see it start to target this target dummy right here. But as I walk past it, 
Now it's looking at this. Now watch, I'm going to turn to the left and it's going to target this dummy over here. So all I'm doing is moving my camera, right? And it's changing targets on this dummy. Just like that. Just like that. So literally, you don't have to do any any real work. You just kind of move your camera and you have to keep that in your head. You have to say, "Okay, moving my camera this way, moving my camera this way, moving my camera this way." All right. Now you can do it with buttons. You can do it with buttons by setting up a macro. I have this macro right here. This is basically a target macro. It locks on to something when it's dead. I don't really need to use it now because I have action targeting on, but but basically it just locks on. It'll it's basically a tab target button with death lock. So it just locks on one target until that target dies and doesn't prevent it from moving until that this target appears as dead. So like say this was a dungeon, there's like five other mobs and I tabbed over and now I'm killing this mob. I have to kill this target before I can before I, before I can tab over again. I don't know how I could illustrate that here because um I can't really kill these. But you get the idea. Also, you can go into the actual console port controls right here. And if you go over to bindings, there's a whole system on targeting right here. Target nearest enemy, etc., etc. You can set these up. I don't prefer this method. I think this method is a little bit wonky, etc., etc. And it just doesn't really act like it should. So that's pretty much the basis of of all this you can also manually click on the screen with your finger if you so desire you know depending on how many hands free you got but that seems like a lot of work but wait there's more if you have the ally in handheld mode you're going to notice this blue crosshair if you line up that blue crosshair on a mob and you hit uh the right stick down so like you know when you press down on on a on the right stick you hear that click yeah when you when you have that over that crosshair over the target it will it will lock on so that that's another way to do it you can pretty much do this for npcs it doesn't even have to be a, a non-friendly creature here i'm targeting i'm targeting i'm targeting i'm just clicking lining up the crosshair lining up the crosshair it's going to put the mouse up there but same thing just lining up that crosshair and so that's just a fast way to do it i don't like to press that button because i feel like it puts wear and tear on it overall action targeting for me is this is the way to go especially if you're playing if you're playing from the ally and everything and you just want to tilt your camera like it doesn't really get any easier than that just to move it, cast, move it. It's not really good for PvP, but I've I've still done fairly well um, doing a solo shuffle. I wouldn't try to do any serious arenas or anything, but I got up to 1800 in solo shuffle pretty much just using this targeting system. <laughs> but, you know, that was early on in the expansion. I don't know how much things have changed. So yeah, that, those are your ways to target. There's a couple different ways. Of course, the easiest is get a Bluetooth mouse and just click over and just like a desktop. But I would definitely say prefer the actual World of Warcraft options under under combat enable action targeting. So these are this is built into World of Warcraft. It isn't part of console port at all. It's basically it was basically created for controller targeting and as such it helps us out in that regard so i hope everybody enjoyed the video i just wanted to elaborate on two more subjects uh one of my uh viewer subscribers had mentioned to me in the comments about these two questions and i had a revelation that these were very important subjects and i needed to make a video on it as soon as i could so I hope that helps. I hope that answers more questions. This is a continuous kind of improvement video. You know, anything we need to pick up, 
because I feel like this is a test. This is I'm constantly testing. That's why I'm playing this. I ha I ran into issues last night with streaming this game. It got kind of weird. There was a crash. There was multiple crashes. So I think that's part of the fun of it, exploring and seeing what the problems are, because there are problems. I'm not going to sugarcoat the, this doesn't run completely perfectly, but I like learning. I like showing. I like um, being challenged. So it's it's just a very interesting thing to talk about in theory craft. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I, as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Everything I'm using on my ROG allies linked below. And I want to remind everyone to look good, feel good, and perform well. Thank you, and have a great day.